Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to use the disk utility in the command line to verify a disk and to repair a disk. So in this case we have an external hard drive hooked up to our computer via USB. So you can see it connected here externally. And it appears on the desktop like this. It's just called USB hard drive. Now in newer versions of Mac OS X, so in this case this Mac is running High Sierra, but it's the same thing in Mojave as well. Uh, there's a version of Disk Utility, and that does some functions, but not all of these. So I'll just show you Disk Utility quickly. If you go into the File menu, choose New Finder Window, click Applications, go down to Utilities, and open up Disk Utility. You'll get the graphic user interface version of Disk Utility, and it does a certain amount of things. In this case, we're looking at this drive here. We can get some information about it, how much space is used, how much is free, and so on. Um, but as far as checking out the disk and repairing the disk, all we get is this first aid button. And it kind of does everything in the background um, and doesn't give you uh, as, much, um, as much control over just verifying a disk or just repairing a disk. So let's show you how to do that in the command line. Older versions of Disk Utility used to give us this option, but it, Apple took that away. So if we quit Disk Utility here, we can open the Terminal app. It's also in the Utilities folder. Now the first thing to do is to get some information about the disks hooked up to your computer. So the first thing to do is type in Disk Util, which is Disk Utility, and then List. And it will list all the disks hooked up to your computer. So in this case, we have one located here at dev disk one. That's our internal physical drive. That's a Macintosh HD. And its format is listed here on dev disk one. And that's where it stores its volume name. Now the external drives handle a little differently. It's here on dev disk two. It's external and physical. And we can see that its format is this. Apple HFS, and its name is USB hard drive, which is just what I've named it here on the desktop. Now, if we want to just verify that disk, just to check out to see if it's okay, let's say it's acting up a little bit, and we want to um, get the system to check it out, we can type out disk util verify disk space. And now we need to tell it which disk to verify. Obviously there's two disks, hooked up to the computer. So the thing to do is actually take this location here and just copy that. You can type it out too, but we'll copy it and paste it in here. So this tells the system that it's going to verify the disk at that location, which we know is our external drive because of the naming and the fact that it's not part of the boot drive. I hit return. Great, and it goes through a, a whole check Make sure everything's okay. It says everything appears to be fine, so that's great. If you get some errors, it says everything is not okay, you might want to repair the disk. So let's clear the screen here just so you can see that a little bit better. So we'll go disk util lift again just so we can see the drives. All right, so let's say we want to re uh, repair it now. So we go disk util here, disk, and we need the location. Copy that, and paste it here, and we'll hit return. Okay, said repairing it uh, might erase it. I don't think it will, but it might. So do make sure you have a backup. In this case, it's a drive that I don't mind if something goes wrong. So yes. Let's go in. Okay, it finished everything. So if there's a lot of problems on a drive, repairing the partition map could could erase it, but uh, we know if we check the drive here, go command I, that nope, it's still got a whole bunch of space used on the drive so that we know everything inside the drive hasn't been erased. Now it's important when you type in these commands to type them in exactly as I've put them. So in this case, See, repair disk has a capital D. Everything else is lowercase, but a capital D. So these commands are very specific. 
I'll make a list of them uh, in the uh, description below uh, so you can see them and you can even sort of copy and paste them in here. But if you get any errors, check your spelling, check, check your typing because a, a smallest typo could cause errors in the command. Well, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up and like the video and share it out on social media. And if you have any uh, suggestions on things that we can cover in the future, please put them down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.